All right, so first we're going to open up Photoshop. So you can go and type or click right here and you can actually just type Photoshop and open it up. It should look like this. All right, as soon as you open up Photoshop, um, these are all your recent files that you have done previously. We are going to go to create new because we want to create a new file. And this is where you'll put your title and your first um, Photoshop assignment will be called Animal Manipulation. And we are going to keep 8.5 to 11. Um, it's going to look like this. If you want it the other way, you can switch it over, but we work with standard size paper and you want your solution to be 300. And you can keep all of the other ones, RGB with a white background. And once you have this, you can hit the create button. Once you hit the create button, you'll notice that animal manipulation title is right up here. Um, and then the most important thing that you want to bring up is this layers panel. This is where you will be um, being able to just see all your layers. So one of the first things that we are going to do notice is that there's a background layer. That's our white background. And it's locked. Uh, I'm just going to keep it locked. But if you ever want to unlock it, it you just double click on it. it becomes a layer zero. But I'm going to hit control Z to undo because I want my background layer and I don't want it to move. So I am going to keep it locked. So if you come over here and hover next to this um, trash can, you'll notice that it says create a new layer. We're going to create a new layer. So basically this layer is on top of my background layer. So for your animal manipulation pro or assignment, you are to create two animals manipulated together. So if you see on Google Classroom, it says manipulate two animals that describe you using the Native American totem animals and their meanings link. So this is the link that you will need to go to and tell me which two animals describe you. And you can kind of just go down the list and see what each animal signifies so like an armadillo is a safety grounded sensitive sensitivity to attack strong boundaries trusting repulsive neutral and peaceful once you find two animals that you like um, you are going to go to something called unsplash.com photos are free for you to use these are photographers that letting you guys use whatever photos that you want to use and it has no copyright issues so we are going to be looking at animals and then you can search whatever animals you want for me i am going to write bird and i'm going to take this bird right here you can blow it up a little bit you can right click and then save image as And then you can save it wherever you want. You always want to rename it. So save it under your file. I have mine under pictures. Hit save. And then my other animal will be an elephant. I'm going to find a good photo that I want to incorporate my bird on top of my elephant. And I like this one. So I'm going to right click and save image as and write elephant. So now I have my bird and my elephant downloaded. I'm gonna go back to my um, Photoshop and I'm gonna pull in the both of those images. All right, so you wanna pull up your pictures of the elephant and the bird and you want to drag and drop into your Photoshop 
application. So I am going to grab my elephant first and I am going to drag and drop into my canvas. And there is my elephant. I am also going to drag and drop my bird into my Photoshop application and press enter to get rid of that. Um, you can see this little icon on the side of my bird and elephant. You have to get rid of it. One of the ways that you can do this is go to image, or I'm sorry, layer, rasterize, and smart object. You just have to do this in Photoshop so you can be able to edit your photo. If you do not do this, you won't be able to edit it. So go to layer, rasterize, smart object, and then you'll notice that it goes away. You will need to do this on elephant as well. So go to your elephant layer. You can also hide the bird using this eyeball. Go to your elephant layer, go to layer, rasterize, smart object, and there it is. So I think I want to put the elephant's head on top of my bird. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide my bird first, go to my elephant layer. I'm going to zoom in a little bit using this magnifying glass. And if you just click, you can zoom in. If you hold down Alt, you'll notice it turns into a minus sign. I'm going to zoom in. I am going to use my, if you hold down, if you look at these tools, there are little arrows on the edge of the tools. That means if there's an arrow on the edge, it means there are more tools hidden under. So this magic wand tool, you want to hold down and there are certain um, other tools that you can use. We are going to use this tool called the quick selection tool. Once I have the quick selection tool, you'll notice that there's like a brush um, on the edge. I'm gonna try to grab my head of the elephant. If you click and click, I'm just trying to grab the head. Um, and if it's like this, you can hit Control Z, undo. And you can bring down the brush a little bit more, maybe the size of the brush that you just get this part and not this guy. And it's okay if you do get a little bit of it, um, we can always erase it. And that's fine. So I like this right now. It's just a rough little um, quick selection tool. What I'm gonna do now is hit Control J. And you'll notice on my layers panel, that it created another layer, um, but with just the elephant head. So if I hide this elephant, you notice that this is now elephant head. If I double click, I am going to rename elephant. So now I am on my elephant head layer. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more so that I can erase if you hold down the space bar, you'll grab, you'll get this little hand and you can move it around. This is the eraser tool. You can erase the background. To make your brush smaller. You can always come up here and create it smaller or your hotkey will be the brackets. The left bracket will make it smaller and the right bracket will make it bigger. There is my elephant head. I'm going to Turn on the eyeball for the bird. I'm actually going to grab the bird layer and bring it under the elephant head. 
so that my elephant head will be on top of the bird. Now I want to increase this head. I want to hit Control T for transform. Increase this head. And also, if you go to your corners, you'll notice it turns into a curve arrow. You can curve it a little bit so it turns like that. And there's my elephant head on top of my bird. You want to hit Enter. I actually want to create the background bird um, a little bit bigger so that I don't see this yellow edge or white edge. So I'm just going to hit Control T for transform, make it a little bit bigger. And hit Enter. Go to my elephant head layer. And that's basically all I really want you to do for this tutorial. To save, you want to go to File, Save As. Find a folder you would like to um, save under. It'll be your first name. Last name. Animal manipulation. No, I'm like a...